You know, I just have a really hard time personifying this character. To be able to put this on, you know, is a difficult thing. Mainly I think about the humiliation. Because I'm not here to necessarily play it up. I'm here to hold up this, this image more so for you to see what it is, to be offended, and then, you know, to cross-reference it. I'm not trying to be a blackface character. I'm trying to show you the equivalent of blackface is what we see today perpetuated through mass media. Pulling the makeup off is, um, is actually, um, is actually empowering. It's gratifying in a way is that I don't have to live up to anybody's preconceived idea of who I am. You know, stereotypes and, and you know, joking around comedy, you know, it's funny. It's, it's funny, but these things, you know, are not only used as jokes. This uh, image embedded deep in the psyche of America and really the world of who and what we are as black males, that serves as a precursor of anything that you do. At the end of the day, I also understand that not everybody is going to be laughing with me and that they're going to be laughing at me. I, I completely understand that. But the greater message is for those who have the power to do something about the images that are projected uh, through mass media of black males. The dominant worldview of black males in America. Misogynist, uneducated, materialistic, violent. I wanted to take all of that, put it in one character, and then deconstruct it through that dominant worldview, mainly by the character's perspective on who Jigaboo Jones is.